Hello and welcome back from my tutorials. In this tutorial I will show how you can use Nginx as a proxy server and then you can use a failover server and your primary server for PHP. So first we have uh, my Nginx server. It's here on 100. And then I have a failover server on 101. And I want to use my proxy server, it's running on 102. If I'm going for my browser, I have my PHP version here. If I'm going for 101, it's my failover message. And if I'm going for my 102, it's, here's the proxy server. And the proxy server should showing uh, what 100 contain when it's online and when number 100 is down this failover message should be showing I have cheating a little bit so we will go for, for the proxy so I can show how it can be fixed open your nginx config file in your HTTP you should add those four lines I have it as, as uh, upstream test failover. It will uh, fail if you have a timeout on uh, two seconds. So if the request is longer than two seconds, the number 100 will uh, fail. And then it will send the traffic to number 101. So it's a backup. Let's save the file. Let's go into the sites enable. Let's open our default file. We should scroll down to location. Inside location, I have, I have pre added the, the fields, the lines, sorry. And you can add my lines. What I want is a proxy read timeout, it's one day. I forward the right IP address, and the proxy redirect is zip to off. And the, the host is the host in the header, and then we would send to the the test failover the URL and the params and let's save it again let's restart nginx so if i'm starting up here it's showing what number 100 is showing and if i'm going for my hyper v and close my nginx server down it's shutting down now and you will see here I will go back for my failover when it's going with timeout. We wait a little bit. It's trying to connect, but it's offline, so. You can see here this is working. but it's not sending any PHP, so that could be the reason. If I'm starting it up again, and go for my failover, install PHP, yeah, sorry, I'm not connected to the internet here. So you can see the fi failover, now it's here, so if I am turn off again, you can see the turn off here, it's a timeout, and I can basically turn on my my primary Nginx, and everything should be as normal, right now it's still fa failing, and a little bit it should be back online. Now it's back online, so thank you for watching, I don't hope this is uh, too confusing. I hope you have learned how we can simply set up a proxy server on Nginx. So if you like it, you can subscribe my channel and if you want, you can, st you can uh, make a question down as a comment. Thank you for watching and see you next time.